Before texture blending, we want to make sure that our object is UV unwrapped the way that we expect our materials to appear. So we're just going to do a one-to-one -one UV unwrapping on this object. So once we've got all of that sorted out, so depending on the object, that's obviously going to differ. But the one thing to keep in mind is that the UVs have to be mapped relative to the dimensions of the image or images that are going to be used. So either it's going to be square or rectangular. So once we've got that done, we want to be in material properties. Make sure a material is assigned to the object. So if one does not exist, click the plus button or the new button that would be down here to create an instance. We've got one already, so we'll use that. That's the preview. Click, let's just rename this and material. And then we're going to modify our material. So shading workspace. And what we'll do for clarity, purposes of clarity, you don't necessarily need to do this in this particular order. We're just going to set up a basic mix material and then we'll modify that for the inclusion of additional images. So first things first, add texture, image texture. We need to do this twice because we are mixing two images initially. There's one. There's the other. So populate them, so new or open. Open, browse to our images, select, browse, select. Ordinarily, we would just link that up and our image would appear on our object. We don't want that because we're going to mix them. So for that, we want add color, mix color. This was formerly mix RGB. So add color, mix color, drop that into place. And then what we can do here, color output to A input, color output to B input. So our images are linked to the inputs of the node. If we link this to principled BSDF, we'll see both images on the object mixed or blended together. But we want vertex color to control how these are blended. And for that, we want to go into add input color attribute. So add input color attribute. Drop that into place and then link color to factor. And this will initially show the image that's linked to the A input because essentially there is no vertex color data on there, so it treats the mesh as being black. What we can do now, so now that we've got that in place, if we go into a layout, switch to material preview, and then switch our mode to vertex paint, the mesh will flip because Blender assigns the default white to our object. And then we can paint. Click on the sample. Drag that down to black. So we can use RGB, HSV, all the other values. To select our color. And then just paint vertex colors on our object and blend our textures. So if we look at this in solid mode, we can see our vertex color is assigned to our object. So that's basic 
texture blending using vertex colors to add more textures more images we want to go back into shading workspace so let's make a bit more room we need to add two more images add texture image texture so it's image three we can have up to four images so texture image four same again load in our images number three number four so that's number three that's number four number one number two to decouple mix color from principal BSDF and then to accommodate the new images we need to add in another mix color and this accommodates image number three and then another one mix color and this accommodates image number four and what we do here our texture is linked to the B input of the mix node. Click drag, and that's for both of them. Click drag, and then we link the result output to the A input of the following mix node. And again, if we link all these up and connect that to base color, we'll see all the images blended together. Now to paint the vertices, the colors that we need to blend in these additional images with the originals, we need to add in add converter separate color this was formerly separate RGB so add converter separate color this will drop in this node and here what we want to do is disconnect color attribute from factor connect that to color And then we connect the different outputs, the red, green, and blue output from our node to the factor input of each of the mixed color nodes. And we can do these in any order. So let's just make this easier to see. So blue, green, red. Let's go into full screen. Make this a little easier to see. So we have this pairing, this pairing, and this pairing. And what this will allow us to do is we can see that we've already got some color previously assigned and that's showing the mix between these two so we go back into layout let's choose a different color blue and that changes and blends that image choose red That blends in the rhomboid. And then green. That blends in the triangle. So we've got all our images 
blended based on the vertex color that's assigned to the mesh. So that's simple texture blending using mix color node, separate color node, and color attribute.